Mm, I do, but I don't know that there are any left in New York, Ruby. There's places I go, but they're all filled with irony. They're all faux something. The fact that you move to New York makes you faux something. Um, there's bars in Baltimore that I take New York friends to who are really alarmed by them. They can't believe their eyes. There's no, that would be impossible to have in New York because they're blue collar bars. They're like, you know, they don't have that here. Maybe they have it in Queens, but they're not gonna have it in Manhattan. You can't even have hipster bars here. You have to live in Brooklyn because it's too expensive to live in Manhattan. So um, I, I'm just saying, I do know those bars in Baltimore. I know a few in San Francisco where I live. I know really none in Manhattan. I mean, there's places I go I like, but I, I can't say that I, I know a real dive bar that is filled with characters that are New York characters. I, I don't, there probably is, I don't know it. So. For me, undiscovered, um, blue collar definitely, uh, a certain tension from, from uh, the type of people that go there. And um, rap music, I always love to have rap music. It keeps away a lot of people I don't like. I especially love gay bars that have rap music. That really works. There's only I've only been to about two in my whole life. <laughs> well, I mean, a, well, and not a, a totally black one either. Just like with the plays, because rap music for some people really alienates gay people, <laughs> which makes me laugh. <laughs> Wit makes me laugh, not jokes. I hate when people have a joke to tell you. I go, ah, la, 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 please don't. I hate it when somebody tells me a joke because they're never funny. Um, but I like people's wit, I like to be surprised. Or I like somebody that is totally clueless, that says something that takes my breath away. Just overheard dialogue. Like the guy asked in the bar, what do you do for a living? And he said, I trade deer meat for crack. He was serious, he wasn't, he wasn't telling me this, but what dialogue, you know, I mean, I could inspire an entire movie from that one line, because there's a lot of backup questions there. But unfortunately, he was in my house, <laughs> and uh, I, my friend said, I'll get rid of him, because there was a bunch of people that came over after a bar, not for anything as exciting as you might imagine. Mm -hmm.